Thank you for staying with us. With just eight days to go before Christmas Day, many people have already begun stocking up their homes with eats and drinks to entertain their friends and family. One popular beverage of choice for a traditional Trinbago Christmas is homemade wine. And reporter Marie Hull spoke with one homemade winemaker to find out what makes this drink so special. The Christmas tree is one indication that the festive season is in the air. The lights and decoration synonymous with the joyful occasion. But for some, Christmas is not Christmas without that special menu and local beverages. You know, sorrel, puncha creme and ginger beer are just some of the top go-to traditional drinks to fill your glass during the season. But what about those drinks with a little spike in them? like homemade wine. And there's a large variety from pomerac, rice, cashew, tomato, hibiscus, strawberry, passion fruit and even aloes. To get a better understanding of how this beverage is made, we were invited into the home of Marlowe's Sparkling Wines. Owner Marlon James has been in the business for the past 23 years, a skill he has perfected since age 14. Together with his wife Natasha, Marlon says their wines should be on every household table for the season. He said homemade wine speak for itself. It's made from the goodness of someone's home. Even though his wines were in the bottling stages ready to be sold, he still gave us a brief lesson on how the wines are made, starting with boiling water and fruits. You know, once you cut the apple or thing, or you don't even have to and you add it, into the the must all right and then you add raisins you put yeast right and you organize you stir up everything properly and from that you just wait to settle and how can you tell the wine is ready all right it's a process but you have to keep checking but you will know when it's time so you check probably a month later three months it depends all right and you see the progress of your wine and sometimes you would know by a smell you would know, hey, yeah, this wine ready to consume. After the fruits have settled for 23 days, they're then filtered. Using a filter, which has a pump and some padding, Marlon is then able to strain the fermented fruits without leaving any sediments behind. The wine is then placed into a hydrometer to know the alcohol percentage, which Marlon says ranges from 8 to 11%. When the wine is ready, it is then bottled. Even I got in on the process. The wine is then sealed and labeled. Marlon's wife Natasha said business has been booming for 2015 with lots of wine orders coming in. She said the look of their products as well as the taste makes it unique. The most popular flavor is Shadow Benny because everybody knows it has a kind of smell. Shadow Benny has a smell. So it's like, shut up any wine. I was like, yeah. But when it, when it smells, it, there's no smell. So when it tastes, it's like, wow, this wine is tasting really good. You sure this is made out of shadow Benny? I said, yes, it is made out of shadow Benny. But where's the smell? I said, well, maybe in all the process, while, while this is making, the smell dilutes. Marlon says making homemade wine is something he loves. And while it's just a hobby, satisfying his customers is his greater reward. While Malu's sparkling wines are especially popular at Christmas time, he produces all year round. Marie Hall, C News.